and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Demir Mill, our first donation deck of the day. We have uh, four donation decks today. So we got four new decks um, sent here by viewers, all of them. Um, and uh, the first one here is Demir Mill, where we are going to be milling out our opponent, if we're successful, that is. So that's the goal of our deck, is to be milling out our opponent. Uh, we have uh, the the main engine card that we have here is going to be Drowned Secrets, our two-mana enchantment. Every blue spell that we cast, target player, that'll be our opponent, puts the top two cards, their library, into the graveyard. This is going to be the card that we really want to see in our opener. Uh, we really want to play this on turn two every game. It's going to make our deck a lot better if we can have Drowned Secrets and even multiple Drowned Secrets in play right away. Because what that's going to enable us is that every single blue card that we play, all of these, um, they'll be having an additional mill two added onto them, and that's just going to supercharge our deck. You know, if we play, you know, ten blue spells, for example, throughout the the game, that's an extra twenty cards milled over, and you know, obviously that's a that's a really big deal. Besides that, we got seven of the O fours to kind of start to play defense for us with Merfolk Secret Keepers and Wall of Lost Thoughts. They both mill over four cards. Um, but then the Merfolk Secret Keeper mills over the four cards in two spells. And so that's critical with the Drowned Secrets. That makes Drowned Secrets even better that you get to cast the Venture Deeper and then also the Merfolk Secret Keeper and mill over two cards twice there with Drowned Secrets. Uh, we got our interaction with Drown in the Lock, Thought Erasure, Tyrant Scorn. Uh, that's our, our blue interaction that helps with Drown Secrets. We do have to have a little bit of, of black interaction that doesn't trigger Drown Secrets, but I think these are just some necessary cards. We got three Murderous Rider, two Crowther Carnarium for all the Cauldron Familiars running around, and a Ritual of Soot. So we have um, a little bit of black removal in here. We have six cards there that does, doesn't trigger the Drown Secrets, unfortunately, but I think they're necessary. Um, our ways to gas back up with Gadwick and Jace and into the story. So those are our five ways to kind of to gas back up and draw a good amount of cards. And then we also have some Enter the God Eternals at the top end that do a little bit of everything. Play defense, gain us some life, mill for trigger drown secrets also, and removal all in one. Um, sideboards, or sorry, mana base, pretty basic. And our sideboard, we have um, some good blue interaction because, you know, again, blue spells are really valuable to drown in the lock. So we got we got two different uh, counter spells that we're relying on here with Negates and Mystical Disputes in, for the counter heavy decks. Ether Gust just seems awesome with this deck. Um, there's a lot of red and green. Honestly, this maybe should be a main deck card, but there's a lot of either red or green or both in the metagame. Like, there's not many decks that are not playing any red or green running around. Um, but Ether Gust, even if they want to put it back on top, because we have so many cards that mill, um, they we we have them put it back on top, and then we just mill it over into their library. So it can interact with any permanent um, in play or any spell on the stack that's red or green. Um, anyway, let's see. We got a little bit more of the, the black removal. We got another Cry, another Ritual of Set over here. We have another Jace for another card advantage engine, um, an extra Enter the God Eternals for the matchups. The creature matchups where Enter the God Eternals is really solid. And then a Kefnet in the sideboard, which is really going to be for the aggro matchups because it's a four mana, four or five. It's just going to be a good blocker against the aggro matchups, especially after board, whenever they take out more of their removal. And then, of course, it's a blue spell for Drowned Secrets, and it can uh, power out some of our other spells as well. So it's going to be a another anti-aggro card but anyway just like what we do with all the donation decks we're going to be playing a league here we're going to be playing until we win five or lose two whichever happens first yeah that's true Bra brazen borrower and fey of wishes those are both multiple blue spells on a single card um both very powerful blue spells as well um so yeah like those those would both be pretty good options too all right so no no Drowned Secrets, but I don't think this is just a mulligan because of that. This is the, the thing about the deck is really going to be finding out like how good 2-mana 0-4s are. Because <laughs> we have a lot of 2-mana 0-4s. Unfortunately, we don't get to take their 3-mana... 
Um, five five. Hey, Tobias, with the sub. Doctor Tobias, is it Funke? Is that right? Oh, it's Arrested Development. I'm pretty sure that reference. It's been a long time since I've seen Arrested Development, though. Um, I guess I just take the Lucky Clover. You know, I kind of don't really want to. Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, Arrested Development. I never saw like the. I know like how they had like the they like the two seasons, right? But then there was a, a few years later. They kind of they brought the crew all back together and did like a, a third maybe plus seasons. I I never saw those updated ones. I saw the original ones. By Yunke. By Yunke. Hey, what's up, Bleeding Black? Yeah, that show is so great. I really liked it. Guess we're just going to kill the 5-5. Five five. Just get that out of here. Drowned Squeakrits. <clears throat> All right, mill, mill, mill. Their deck draws a whole lot of cards. Maybe they'll run out of cards. No, our opponent's playing Teamer, uh, Teamer Adventure. That's the deck that they're playing. It draws a whole lot of cards. Which is something we don't mind too much because we're going to be milling over a bunch also. So their life total is 38 now. It's 38-16. I just hit him for 4. So now it's 34-16. This Brazen Borrower is going to be hurting us though. I can just play this to try to hit land drops. Perfect. <sighs> His opponent's deck strange? No, that's, this is a, one of the most popular decks in, in standard right now, the Teamer Adventures. All right, good job, Wall. Get rid of another five cards. Oh no, expansion explosion. With another wilderness reclamation. And Beanstalk Giant. That was just a really great. Wilderness Reclamation. 
All right, so we're gonna have to. We're definitely gonna have to have the drown the lock counter expansion. Okay, so I have. I can go drowned secrets. I think I maybe hold up double drown in the lock this turn. So each each spell mills four. So this is four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and then the secret keyword has another four, so that's twenty. But they're at 21 in library so that's but then we can play the gadwick also for the 24 so we can kill them next turn all right um i think that's perfectly fine so i think we have this I have to just protect against them, have, like this other card being another expansion explosion, basically. Or a counter spell. Of some type. So, huh. They did nothing with that? So they can only do six damage to me with expansion explosion? They can't kill me. Yeah, maybe they forgot to put a stop. That could be. But but yeah, that is true. It, it stopped because it, it asked me if I wanted to respond. And so they had they had time. Not gonna let them draw that card. Their life total is now 13. <laughs> you copied the wrong drown in the lock. That was not a good. Expansion. Doesn't really matter though. They didn't they didn't have anything they could do there to stay alive. That puts them down to five. This puts them down to one. Normally they'd be able to stay alive, but
Okay. You can see how why Drown Secrets is so important, why it's so powerful, was that game right there. Drown Secrets is incredible. This definitely feels like a pretty great Ether Gust matchup. <laughs> Uh, thanks, y'all. Maybe a ritual of set still. You know, they have their three mana five five and brazen borrower and stuff. Especially the three mana five five. I don't know what to not play, though. I don't know. Let's try the this here. Um, yeah, I mean, negate, negate's probably really good, too. Then we gotta cut something else. That's the thing, we can't play everything. But yeah, they probably have a lot of spells. But like, obviously all the adventure creatures, we, we would be able to negate also. Maybe I take out the Wall of Lost Thoughts for negates, but the Wall of Lost Thoughts were pretty crucial in blocking there, that last game. So basically putting it back on top or on bottom, it would just get shuffled back in. Well, they bounce Jace, but then their Brazen Borrower goes away. So, I mean, that's that's a good trade. I'll take that. They just turn Brazen Borrower into just, you know, just a two-mana bounce bell. Like, that's pretty whatever. That's not a very good use of the card. Um... Could just have negate now. That's fine. You've already lost. You just don't know it yet. Do it again, brazen borrower. This will come in handy. 
darn milled over a brazen borrower. Oh, that one's a lot worse. Why did they just do that the first time? <laughs> Why did they just do that the first time? So I want to do Enter the God Eternals here. This is just a really good time to Thought Erasure. I guess it's not that good of a time to Thought Erasure. All right, now I want to find Drown Secrets. that to life. So I could do Gadwick for three and still hold up two mana for these things? Sure. Drown Secrets. Best card in our deck. All right, this is looking perfect for us. We'll put that we'll just put that back in there have them shuffle it back up we don't like need to counter it I don't think Those are six spells right there. Down to twenty four and eleven. Are we gonna are we gonna kill them with, with damage? Or with library first? Looks like with both. Alright, we're one and oh. And we got a guilds of Ravnica pack. That's right, it's it's Sunday. It's level up Sunday. What do we got for Guilds of Ravnica pack? 20 gems. Theros, Beyond Death. Wait, are we finally going to get 
Uh, we're one level away. That's going to be a sweet sleeve also, too, in a couple of levels. But we're one level away from the card style I've been wanting forever, the Worthy Knight. We're almost there. And, man, Biscuits is frisky today. The Mastery Pass... Basically, the mastery passes uh, last from set to set. So the one right now, it, it lasts all the way until Theros releases. Hey, Paul. Well, we got Drowned Secrets in the opener. Hit that key button. So just wondering if the White Giant would be a good addition to the Mardu Control deck we played yesterday. Yeah. It could be. Like, the deck already has Kai's Wrath and Planar Cleansing, if you want something in between there. Like, the good thing about the White Giant, of course, is that you can play it again. You know, you can have just play a 7-7 seven, seven. also. So this is why we got Cry of the Cranarium in, in the deck. Alright, so I guess I need a second black because of Murderous Rider, but blue is a more valuable mana color to us. But then also, again, there's a lot more blue sources. So it's pretty likely, if we're going to draw land, it's pretty likely we draw a blue land. All right, drown squeak crits. It's the mouse. There's a mouse down here. That's why I like calling it drown squeak crits. Come on, blue mana. Talked about how their deck has infinite card advantage with the Trail of Crowns, but they're not going to have infinite card advantage if, if uh, they don't have a library. They're missing land drops, so we'll just get rid of the Paradise Druid and one Cauldron Familiar. We have a second Carnarium for more Cauldron Familiars. Let's try to hit land drops, but obviously like they're just going to be able to get other cats. And there's one right there. And so that's a problem. But hopefully with this Drowned Secrets we can mill them out fast enough anyway. They're at 34, I'm at 19. Uh, they just didn't use their Witch's Ovens. They could have dealt another two damage to me. I just didn't.
No, I don't like the mill self one with Jay's plan. I'm just going to mill them out. I'll, I'll just kill their... Like, so yeah, I could I could enter the wall and then I gain four life, or I do this and I don't gain four life. So it's either, like... I could sacrifice the wall for four life, basically. I'll just keep the wall around. It may turn out that it never does block for four life. So they're down to 24. I guess I, I really should not have cast the Cry of the Cranarium when I did. Uh, you know, we have more experience now. I If we're in this situation again, I would wait with the Cry of the Cranarium. So, that's that's good though. We got more experience. But I think I should have waited with it. Yeah, the Trail of Crumbs just takes more cards out of their deck. So, they, they're down to 21 now. No. Your life's about to end. <sighs> Pity we couldn't have that hurts. Allies. That really hurts. But it, of course, the other option that some people are saying that we should just mill ourselves and try to win with Jace so we don't mill over Cauldron Familiar. The problem, the problem with that is it's we don't have Jace in hand, so it's not reliable. We could just mill over our Jaces. There's only two Jaces in the deck. They could have. You know, like by the time we actually get Murderous Rider, or sorry, by the time we actually get Jace in play, they could have like Murderous Rider or something that kills the Jace. And then we lose. Like, even if we actually draw the Jace, naturally. It's just unreliable. They have 19 cards left. But I did use... All right, so I should have... But, you know, I, I learned a lot with this game. You know, we learned a lot. I uh, learned, learned that I did use the Cry of the Carnarium too early. I learned that I was wrong with... So I was wrong there. I was wrong with the Enter the Guy Eternals. I should have just gained the four life and destroyed the wall. Okay, I'm going to cast this other Murderous Rider as a lifelinker. And hold up Drown in the Lock for a removal spell. At nine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we can do that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll enter the God Eternals my own token next turn. If we draw a Carnarium, we probably win. 
We only we only got one more in the deck, in the main deck here. They could they could and they should be playing around Cry of the Carnarium by kill having their cats be dead on my turn, but then I guess they don't get to chump block the murderous riders, which they need to do. <laughs> You're okay, Delta. It happens. They're down to 15 cards now. That destroying my drown secrets really hurt. If only this was another Cry of the Carnarium. Oh, this is uh, Bleeding Black. Donate this one. Yeah, playing Wall of Lost Thoughts instead of Overwhelmed Apprentice is because an 04 actually blocks stuff, and a 1 2 doesn't block stuff. So I like an 04 more. Plus, it mills 4 instead of mills 2. It does not get to Sprite 2, but I just think an 04 is more valuable at blocking than a, than a 1 2. So I, yeah, so I, you know, we learned that I should have killed the Wall of Lost Thoughts to gain four life, so I could have been at ten here. Well, it's going to make that more difficult to bring those things back. Yeah, I like I like the wall more. Got a mill over nine cards. So close. All right, so I used my. I mean, we're we're just we're taking lethal here. Um. I used my Cry of the Carnarium just a little too early. I did. Admittedly. And... So, a couple of different decisions there. Could have had that. Alright, need this extra Cry. Don't want the Soot. And the God Eternal looked just fine. Guard Queen, of course, is is quite annoying. We're not going to be able to like fly over the cat and actually kill kill them with damage. That's not really what the game's going to be about. It's 
basically can we survive like wicked wolves and masker girls long enough to mill them out Yeah, Blast Zone wouldn't be too bad to kill the ovens. It's The ovens aren't too bad if we cry away the cats. We got to do that, though. We got to cry away the cats, and I need to hold on to that other cry. Hmm. No, there's no spyglass in the side. That could be a, something to have in the sideboard. Spyglass is usually pretty easy to kill, especially after sideboard, though. Hands has, has everything that we want except for lands. Do I just keep this, put the secret, or put it, put one of the thought erasures, I guess, down to the bottom, and just hope we draw a blue land? Or do we go to five? So basically, all we need to do is draw one blue land, and then we can play secrets. We can play the other thought erasure. And we're kind of starting there with the th with the surveil. There are um, 11, 12, 13, 17, 19. There's 19 blue lands. Like, if this was 7, I would mulligan. If, like, that's what we were doing on a 7. But it's like... It's either we have that or we go to five. And it I'm not thrilled about going to five. All right, so 19 out of 53. It's not a... Great chance. Come on, deck. Wow. Huzzah. I assume they have something else that destroys Drown Secrets in hand, which is why they took the Thought Erasure. Could be Golgari Queen. There's two trailer crumbs gone. I would love for no Golgari Queen. I'd be very happy if there was no Golgari Queen. Eh. I guess it's better for me than Golgari Queen is. After needing one cry, the Carnarium last game. Yeah, we got all the cry of the Carnariums, okay.
You got me last game, Hawkeye. You and your cat friends. You got me pretty good. Hawkeye's like, yeah, I won that last game. <laughs> the king. Or a secret keeper. I'm just trying to keep the secrets. Keep those secrets drowned, that is. And now I need that ritual of set. Last last game we were just sitting with the ritual of set and needed a cry of the carnarium. This game I so so then I took out the ritual of set, so now all we need are cry of the carnariums. Isn't that funny how that works? Okay. Yeah, into the story would definitely be nice. What are they doing with all these murders riders? I mean, just uh, drawing a swamp would be really nice too. Just cast double cry here. Nope. Alright, one on one. Hawkeye just smirking over here. Saying hi. Me and my cats got gotcha. you. Yeah, you got me. I hope they keep three on top. So they draw one and then we mill the other two over. Three on bottom? <laughs> no. I mean, that's just fine also. They're not keeping any cards. Whoa. Azorius Flyers. I was expecting, you know, Jeskai Fires.
Which I guess there's really not a reason for me to be doing this right now. At least the other part. I'm, I should not be casting this other 04. Because it, the 04 doesn't do anything. Like, there's not really any reason to cast it. It's not doing anything. Um, it could be a mill, too, if we draw Drown Secrets. Um, which I guess means I could have just kept it in hand. Also. Looks like they were looking for white mana, and we milled over three white lands. So, so Secret Keeper did did a good job there, especially the first mill. They were going to have white on top. Darn, they found white mana. Well, I found the third blue source for Jace, but it's, it's a tap one. Yeah, bounce the secret keeper. Bounce secret keeper. Boo. <laughs> good, good job keeping those plans a secret, Mr. Keeper. Or keeping those planes a secret. Don't worry, I got. Yeah, this. kept those planes a secret. I think we can draw a card for three life. I think we're doing okay. I know I can't play any instants. I'm glad we got rid of a rally of wings. Hey Choco, yeah, I will be after after the stream, not during the stream, but after the stream, yeah, I'll pay attention. I'll go back and watch some football. I've done um, the no, Hawkeye's not not really doing too much better. He's still kind of acting sickly. Let me call in the vet tomorrow. The medicine he's taking doesn't seem to be helping him as much as I would hope it as much as I would hope it would. If I cast the Jace, The Jace is going to die to these things. Hmm. We just milled over seven spells in a row. Get that attack in there.
Yep. Yeah, the Bill Steelers game is going to be great. It's going to be a... That's just going to be a really close game. It's basically going to be on t turnovers, whichever team turns it over. a bad idea the Steelers haven't played uh, yeah the Steelers haven't played a good defense since like week like three against the 49ers they really haven't played that good of a defense since then I think that's all the Rally of Wings. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so they're out of Rally of Wings, so that's very good. Um, Eagles, one, two, three. So they, ha they still have an Eagle left. Awesome, Paul. Join the Orzov discard deck. Cool. So they're at 11 cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a cover from the War of the Spark song. In the end, the Nickel Bolas tribute song. So basically, they, they have to draw Imperion Eagle here, basically. So that's the card I want to mill over. Ooh, that's a great draw. All right, so we need to destroy this thing. Oh, I didn't play my Drown Secrets first. Darn it. Whoops. Well, that wasn't that wasn't great. Eagle, still no eagle. Well, I would have won if I would have played the secrets first. I obviously meant to do that. I just kind of got ahead of myself. Oh, no. The last card's eagle. Okay, it's still not lethal, though, because the four life we gained. Whew. I guess it wasn't going to be lethal anyway. But our last card was eagle. Let's try this. Oh, well. Okay. Let's see. Extra Cry, Carnarium, Ritual Set, Enter the God Eternals. This all sound pretty good. 
Kefna can do some blocking. I guess Kefna's not that great against um, Teferi, though. I don't think we really need Murderous Rider as much. Like, I think we can kind of just play, like, more, bring in more Sweepers and less Murderous Rider. More Sweepers and enter the God Eternals. We don't really need this thing that destroys something and then we lose two. Uh, these these things, all they do is, all these do, do is just mill a little bit, but they don't really do anything else. So I guess... Can we just play counter spells instead? I guess if, if they have... Hmm... If they have to ferry though, the counter spells don't do anything. Especially if I take out Murderous Rider. That's the only like you know, Murderous Rider is like my only thing to kill a Teferi. No, yeah, flourishing. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't I don't know what to do. I know. I understand that there's there's the problem with it, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. But I haven't been able to spend too much time on it because you know, we had the 12-hour stream yesterday, and then back at it early again today. I, but no, I don't I don't know what to do with it. The the just very small couple of things that I've tried haven't worked yet. Yeah, I don't really like the counters here either. Basically, the only reason not to Kefnet is to ferry bouncing it, but that's not a great reason not to, so we're playing it. I'm going to represent strength holding up the two mana here. Maybe they don't play a uh, Teferi thinking that I may counter it. Of course, I do not have a counter. But now I do. Now we can mill four. Now, I, I probably want... Oh, I can't, I can't Ritual of Soot next turn. Can I? We have this castle that's not going to come into play ta untapped, actually. I might as well just destroy the one that can attack. I was just going to wait in, in Ritual of Soot next turn. <laughs> the castle is always coming to play tapped. And ritual of set. Of course, keep saving the seeker keeper again in case, like, whenever we find drowned secrets. But we needed to play. We need to play the first part to turn on the drown in the lock.
pretty decent cards. I'm just gonna draw four right now while shields are down. Drown secrets. They're at 41. Down to 32 now. I guess the... It's gonna be difficult to get the cry of the carnarium. To kill stuff because of the rally of wings. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Ashiok just doesn't work too well with this deck. And then, same thing with... Basically, casting Cry the Carnarium to trade with the Rally of Wings. Oh, I guess not. Okay, we'll trade with the creature. So I'll still have four mana uh, if I activate the Castle of Antris here at upkeep. Yeah, so yeah, even the new Ashiok just does a bunch of exile in. Which exiling is better than putting cards into the into the graveyard, but it just doesn't work with Drown in the Lock and into the story. So I'm at six. <sighs> I'm pretty close to being dead. Okay. <clears throat> just drew too many lands there at the end. You know, we were we were ahead. I thought that we were going to be doing just fine. Like, whenever we cast the end of the story, I thought we were going to be good. But we just drew lots and lots of lands from there.
I thought we were going to be good, though. Hey, Storm. Happy Sunday. <clears throat> so their game plan is definitely a lot of counter spells. Brought in a ton of counter magic. Does that mean that I should be playing some? The thing is, if they have Teferi, my counter spells look really bad. Hand of the God Eternals is pretty expensive, but that four life is really nice. I guess I just don't really have better options here. It's either like the thing that makes me lose two life or the thing that lets me gain four life. And I think we can pay the extra two mana to instead of losing two, gaining four. No, I've never played Pioneer. I just play what's on Arena. Ugh. Why can't we have two lands? Double Drown Secrets. We got a mulligan, though. All right, I like what we got going on here. I don't think we necessarily need to have the Secret Keeper. Um, we don't have, like, Drown in the Lock in hand to, that we need to turn on. And so I want to back up Jace because I'm kind of assuming the first one's going to get countered. Mouse is a little messed up. Cat hair on the sensor. Oh, a lot of cat hair. <laughs> I just pulled a bunch of cat hair out. With this mouse sensor. Okay, there we go. Okay, told me that he's sorry. Well, I haven't fed Hawkeye his lunch yet. I was gonna do that after this leak, so, you know, we started early. And so he's probably doing that. Thinking, uh, give him my lunch. Just pulling tricks. Honestly, that may be a better place just to play the Jace. Then I know I get to resolve the Jace. But resolving the Enter the God Eternals is pretty nice too, though. working out well for us. Mm, just to resolve the center of the God Eternals again. Double veto negate. <laughs> All right, well, nothing's going to resolve. That's fine. We don't need anything to resolve. We got Jason in this 4 4 in play. <laughs> yeah, we milling. Drown secrets. All right, we're basically halfway through their library. But pretty sure we got this. Always an answer. Yeah, we got this.
Yeah, if you were playing a 250 card Persistent Petitioner's deck against this, all we'd have to do is just play Jace. That'd be the game plan, just play Jace. Wait, are Petitioners, are they like one power? Can they attack? Or are they 0-3s? Are, are they like 1-3s? Oh, they're one threes. Oh, that's that's so much attack power. Into the story being instant is pretty sweet. We're at twenty nine, they're at seventeen. GG. Well, stuck on three lands, couldn't play threats and hold up counter magic. Our cards definitely lined up very well there. The moment is here. We are level 98. We finally get Worthy Knight. So Orzov Troll Knight is finally complete with the cosmetics. Finally. Yay. All right, we're two and one. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like Worthy Knight's an awesome. That's a really good uh, cosmetic, but the other four white ones. I mean, I guess a lot of people like Roan Cloak Giant. But still, just compared to the other colors. Yeah, it wasn't nearly as good. Oh no, Mountain. Mountains usually kill mill decks. Everybody knows that. It's like Rock, Paper, Scissors. Mountain kills mill. Actually, I actually kind of think of it, I probably should just play water. Actually, okay, okay so I, I sequenced the lands wrong. The way to sequence, I was making jokes. The, the way to sequence the lands here is play the Watery Grave, turn one. Turn two, play Castle, you know, untap so you don't take damage. And then turn three, play the Dismal Backwater and still play another, you know, we play another one of these two drops. The way that I sequenced, I'm taking damage now, and I didn't need to take that damage. It's a good hand. So I just took two damage when I could have sequenced my lands better. That makes my life better. <laughs> yeah, that was a good top tech. That's why we have that's why we're playing one ritual episode. Just so we can do that. Now, I'll do four damage. 
So much damage. They're one card away for the end of the story. Oh, never mind. Now they have the seven for the end of the story. Let's just go and cast it. Try to hit more land drops. There we go. Thor Brawn. Thor Brawn. I hope they're not playing Risk Factor. <laughs> we just mill over a Risk Factor for them. Now we're just going to be playing these riders out here, two, three lifeline creatures. That's, <laughs> that's a bad feeling. That's a bad feeling. Either Gust. I assume Ether Gust is good. Yeah, I assume so. What's well, not good? Thought Erasure? I don't know. That Thought Erasure let me get rid of that Frenzy. But if we just get to like the late game, Thought Erasure is not going to... You know, it's going to be a bad top deck. I think Ether Gust just replaced Thought Erasure. And then... Do I take out Drown Secrets and try to play like a real control deck? Yeah, I think Either Gust is better than Noxious Grasp, Ex especially in this deck whenever we have like a bunch of things that mill them where they can put it back on top of their library, but then we just mill it over. But yeah, there's just not very much white, and there's a lot of red, and there's a lot of green. That seems kind of weird to take out the best card in our deck. Drown Secrets, like the, our win condition, basically, our main win condition, but... Maybe we do that. Yeah, maybe we do that. That makes Ether Gust worse, though. Yeah, I guess we're going to win with uh, Ryder, Enter the God Eternals, Gadwick. I think it's the thing to do, though. Jace. Kefnet attacking him. <laughs> Can't be blocked except for by creatures with Defender. Got him. Oh no, Cavalcade of Calamity? That's a big deal. Whew. Wow, look at that mill. That's a good mill. 
No, Secret Keeper is not a wall. It can attack. <laughs> no, they coiled my wall. That's cry the Carnarium on one creature. Feels unnecessary. Even though that creature's doing two damage to me. Yeah, it's a two power creature. Another good mill. Have not milled over a land. Over four spells again. <laughs> Why do they have lava coil in? I, I mean, we did last game. We did play the two three life linker and, and the enter the god eternals. You know, like we played enter the god eternals. Those sound like reasonable reason. Like those are reasons to keep lava coil in. I'll take that trade. Take that three for two. Chandra's pretty big. Of a slaying fire. We'll make this look easy. This will come in hand. There goes Frenzy. We have been milling very well. Only four lands and all of that. Coil. Ow. Uh, there's a bunch of lands there. Okay. Mill beating mountain. You don't see that very often. Mill beating mountain. But we did it. And we're three and one. No, I haven't been playing any of the Brawl event. Not yet. Um, too much standard and historic going on. Yeah, our deck's doing well. We got we got Cauldron Familiar, you know, the, the card that comes back whenever you mill it. But besides that, we've done well. Triple Drowned Secrets. This is going to be crazy mill. Hopefully no Cauldron Familiar. 
Whoa. Huh. Kind of want a Thought Erasure. I guess we're supposed to Thought Erasure. Even though we don't get the best Drowned Secret value. We just try slowing them down. It's gonna be the fastest thing to kill us. Omnath or Cavalier of Thorn? Probably Omnath. Right? They have to draw a land to be able to play the Cavalier of Thorn anyway. I mean they can play the Leyline Abundance, but then also the Cavalier of Thorn just mills over the cards for them. Or for me also. We can chump block this thing pretty easily. I'm gonna just get rid of the Omnath. I guess they need. Hmm. I guess they need another color of mana anyway for Omnath. I like how I don't like how Omnath can spread counters around, basically. I guess I was supposed to kill the, the Leafkin Druid. I don't know. Still at 38. We're going to be milling over a lot here, though. <laughs> Opponent is having a good day. Temple Garden? What is this Temple Garden doing in here? So we just milled 20 cards that turn. They went from 38 to 18. Castle's a good draw. <laughs> the two mana mill of 16. That's pretty good. That's not an elemental. Uh, this is two mana mill 10. A bunch of temple gardens. What do they got these temple gardens in here for? They're just only allowed to play shock lands? They have Golos they want to activate? No, we didn't see any black mana.
Yeah, it could be like Cavalier of Dawn and Cyborg. Cyborg stuff. I don't know. I guess the card that's probably going to kill us is Nissa, right? So maybe we should keep Ritual of... No, because we have these O4s that can block the lands. We're probably not going to die to Nissa. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to die. Maybe we can take the sweepers out though, play Ether Gusts. <sighs> Do they have their own Jace? They were just playing 60. They have all the mana creatures, though, that their deck's kind of relying on. A Ritual of Soot may not be bad. I'll just play one. I'll take out the Tyrant's Corns. There's the Temple Garden. It's a good card, but I kind of need land. We already got a couple of those. That is one of our better cards. Same thing there. There's no lands. Game's not over. They just top tech like planeswalkers or something. Now we just need a land to start activating Paradise Druid. Should just be. You know, putting creatures, you know, counters on their creatures, which could add up. I'm down to 10. Ugh. If I kill the Cavalier, they just get to... I 
Get to just put Hydroid Crisis back. So I think I need Jason play. And then I kill Cavalier, then they put Crisis back, and then Jace mills the Crisis back over. Just trading here. I'll take that trade though. Yeah, the thing about Ashiok, Ashiok exiles, and so then you're drowned in the locks and you're into the stories, you're just turned off. Let's try this. Ceratops is an annoying card. Just draw some land. Don't worry about it. Just draw some land. I use Murderous Rider instead of Drown the Lock, so I have the counterpart of Drown in the Lock still available. But... It is kind of worse against... Um, shifting Ceratops. I think I really need to ultimate Jace. Let's try this. I'm at 33 cards in the library and they're at 30. No, I did not board out the Drown Secrets. They're in here somewhere. I guess I could hold on to these, but I, I wanted to get cards out of hand, of course, to get down to seven. All right. Either Gust was going to get it. Oh, yeah, I should have attacked there. My plan was to attack there. I guess I just kind of clicked quickly. But yeah, that was my plan was to attack to gain two more life. So we're four and one, we're on the final boss. Yes, we are, final boss. We do not have an extra life. <laughs> Thanks, Derv. All right, final boss time. Let's get that final boss playlist going. Get in the mood here. 
And can Demir Mill pull off the five win dream? Mill control. We got Mill versus Will. Will Mill win. No blue mana. This hand's good. Why do we have Swamp Castle Lock Twain? Yuck. They kept seven. I'm on the draw. I get two draws. All right, we'll, we'll try it. Oh no. This is probably John to sacrifice again. This was our one loss. Those cats coming back from the graveyard. That's what this looks like this is, yep. The new Ashiok would fit into the deck. Maybe. The thing about the new... But probably not. The thing about the new Ashiok... I mean, it does Exile, which doesn't really work for Drown in the Lock. And the other card. You know what I mean. So yeah, it does Exile. It doesn't Mill. So that's something there. Um, but I don't know. Possibly, I I guess I don't know. I don't like have the the whole text memorized by heart to really say. Right now, uh, I was hoping that by the time they would draw witches oven, I would have this drowned in the lock. Um, I would have it up to be able to counter a Witch's Oven. Hey, Billy. So we have the two... The two main deck cry. They could get rid of the cats. That's what we need. Oh, they're just on fire, drawing oven into trail of crumbs. They're just on fire. Yeah, do you have a link to the deck there, LB? Kindness will help you out. Yeah, go ahead, LB. Yeah, Eldraine was really, really powerful. Because yeah, they, yeah, this this is just block constructed with Throne of Eldraine, 
the adventures decks are just basically block constructed for Throne of Eldraine. Eldraine already had multiple cards banned with Oko and Once Upon a Time already. They really, really pushed that set. I guess they have these casualties in the Brontodon over here that are not Eldraine. Everything else is. So yeah, this is this is probably just our toughest matchup. Honestly, like I guess we need more than probably need. I mean, we'll probably just need all the Cry of the Carnariums. Um, but yeah, these these Cry of the Carnarium, like these, uh, you know, we mill like we mill over the cats. They bring them back, but they draw the witches' ovens, which they which they have been. You know, we want to mill over the ovens, not mill over the cats. But we, all these games, we've been milling over the cats, and they've been drawing the ovens. Hmm. I think we need a Ritual of Set 2 because Brontodon... So the last time that we played Brontodon and Murderous Rider, those were pretty big problems. I'm gonna cut some of the wall of lost thoughts. I think the, the walls aren't as important. Like it, they don't really care to attack. They don't need to. The problem with going for self mill is you have to have one of the two jaces in hand. If you don't have the jaces, then if you if you self mill, you just mill over your jaces, and then then it doesn't work. And then plus, as we saw, like they had murderous rider in hand there. Um, it's pretty easy for them to find a removal spell for the Planeswalker also. It's, J surviving is not reliable either. And so it's just not a very good... Not a very useful tactic. Um, yeah, bleeding black. Maybe we need, maybe we need the, maybe we need to play like the, the, get like two unmoored egos back in here maybe, and just unmoored ego cauldron familiar. Maybe that's a necessity. I should just play island or castle and so if they don't like i want to negate oven but if they don't play oven i'll i should just murderous rider here so i shouldn't play watery grave hopefully they just play oven and i negate it anyway okay good it worked out It's a little risky to play the Jace. Always an 
last turn. Because they had three damage on board with the Mayhem Devil. They had one damage on board with the food being sacked. If they had a Fable Passage or some other way to do one point of damage, a Witch's Oven, anything like that, they would be able to kill the Chase. Was that supposed to hurt? Good. No cat so far. So, of course, if they don't do that, then we play a castle and play it. All right, got to draw removal here. We got our two draws. That's just another land. Removal. Ugh. Well, there goes Jace. It's kind of awkward of just my next two draws, you know, basically just taking a couple turns off, just being Drown Secrets, Drown Secrets. It's kind of awkward. I think it costs too much too much life to do the castle draw. That mayhem devil is a really good top tech for them. I mean, the goose wasn't bad either. Drawing goose into devil, goose giving them the food for this. Don't you hate when you mill over land land and then they just draw Corvold, their best threat? GG. Too many lands over here. 11 of them still. Yuck. Yep, had a good run. Uh, this is this is just lethal though. They they, they do 12 damage with these things. Had a good run.
All right, so four and two. That John to sacrifice matchup. They just have so much card advantage and get get to rebuild so fast, and all their cards are are so cheap. With Witches oven trailer crumbs, they're just so cheap. That's a tough card to. That's a tough deck to handle. Um, I mean, even that game, it wasn't. It wasn't even Cauldron Familiar that even got us there. That game. Uh, we looked good. They just. They just drew a lot better than we did. They drew impactful spells, and we drew lands, thought erasures, in the late game. Um, but anyway, uh, four zero against non Jun Sacrifice. O two against Jun Sacrifice. I don't. I don't really know what to do with that matchup. It's. I don't think it's Leyline of the Void because Leyline of the Void turns off into the story drown the lock. Like I, I don't want Leyline of the Void. Could could certainly be another Cry of the Carnarium, but then we saw there like they have like those other threats that also just get you. Um, I mean, you could have Unmoored Ego for Cauldron Familiar, but then again, it's those other ones can too. That's just really tough because Witch's Oven and Trail of Crumbs. Those are really hard cards to deal with, you know, an artifact and enchantment. I think it's actually maybe it's just okay that we have a bad matchup there. Maybe maybe you just don't even play like the, maybe you just don't even play as many Cry of the Carnariums or like even try to really win that one. Maybe you just kind of punt that matchup, and try to win the rest, and just focus on everything else. Maybe. Um. That could that could honestly be a good way to go. Cause you know, you're only gonna play against that, you know, like 10-15% of the time or whatever. And <clears throat> try to win the rest of the matchups. Um but besides that, the Demir Mill deck, this this deck felt really impressive. It it did. It felt better than other Demir decks that I've been playing recently. Um uh, Drowned Secrets was pretty good, but just just uh mill you know getting just attacking them attacking their library instead of trying to find a way to win instead of trying to instead of trying to stabilize long enough to actually kill them with damage just being able to attack the library it was a, it was a lot faster game plan for the control deck and drown in the lock was then an all-star because it, it was just always because we had mill over some cards and it was always just counter anything they played or destroy any creature they have for two mana so it was really an all-star into the story performed quite well um yeah liked the deck a whole lot so that's demir mill all right those y'all watching on youtube uh hit that like and subscribe buttons over there i would appreciate both of those and of course leave some comments let me know what you think of the deck um or if you have a, a really great idea for the jund sacrifice matchup let me know but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video